I'm at the Chicago Auto Show and behind me right there, this beautiful truck, you may recognize it, but this is the 2023 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate 1500 series truck. Let's go have a look. So pretty much every time I had seen a Sierra Denali Ultimate in the past with media vehicles, it tended to be, like we're seeing on the HD over there, the titanium rush metallic. It is really nice to see it in this lighter color. So you can see the contrast, especially of that dark Vader chrome. And of course, not only is the dark Vader chrome, but you have the black GMC badging gone is the red. One of the things I will say that I wish they really continue to do with that dark fair chrome is use it the other places that they have chrome right so you have the chrome down there below you have the chrome on the mirror caps and the chrome door handles how good would that look especially on the white vehicle if it had that dark fader chrome throughout so you had that contrast of the black and the white i don't know i i, I think it would anyways new front end obviously this came out last year uh, led headlights LED, led daytime driving lights obviously just a really sharp clean looking front end in this refreshed not brand new generational truck, but a refresh truck. Now, these down here are new to the Denali Ultimate. They're Denali ex Ultimate exclusive wheels. In fact, the Yukon uses one very similar to that. These are actually a sharp looking wheel. I think they missed the mark on a couple of the wheels they had last year for this, but this wheel looks fantastic. 6.2 liter, obviously, in the Ultimate. 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. It's going to have, here, I'll show you. Of course, the power running boards, power steps. Now, one thing I don't know if you noticed, but check this out. Did you ever know that about these boards? You hit that button, it'll allow you to get back up in here. And guess what? If I hit it again, oh, by the way, let me just show you. There's the button there, but check this out. If I hit it again, it goes back in, right? But it's really cool. So if, if you don't have a ton of cover on you, you're trying to get to the back, you can just step up on that and get back in there. So I really like that aspect to it. Heading on the back, of course, you're still going to have the step in the bumper. This one has the multi-pro tailgate back here, as you can see. I'm not going to open the tunnel covers on, but six position way, a six way position. Again, these would be cool if they were darker, but chrome exhaust tips out here off the back, chrome badging. Uh, again, if that was darker, man, I, I'm being nitpicky. This is personal preference, right? When it comes, look, it's completely personal preference. The rest of this vehicle is outstanding though. Like last year, not a whole lot's changed in the interior, but still fantastic looking. Alpine Umber interior, check this out. It's dark here, sorry about the lighting. Uh, but again, topographical map all throughout this vehicle. You're gonna see it here, you're gonna see it. I can't, you can't probably see it, but it's, it's actually all inlaid here in the back of the seats. Leather here, suede headrest, real leather, by the way, in the back of this. Uh, you know, a lot of trucks will use a leatherette. This is real leather. They're not fooling around with this GMC. It's not all They're treating the people in the back almost the same as the people in the front. Uh, heated seats back here, speaking of that, USB, USB-C charging ports, as well as vents back here. I love the all-weather mats you can see here too. Um, they have the all-weather liner, of course, and then the carpeted uh, insert interior that you can remove, you can take out. Heading to the front, the beautiful ultimate badging here in the door. I love the Bose stereo system, the aluminum Bose stereo system they're using here. 16-way uh, positional massaging seats in this truck. Beautiful, beautiful as far as that is concerned. Uh, memory seats, of course. The memory seats will not only work with the seats, of course, obviously, exterior mirror, and because it's a power adjustable steering wheel, it'll work with that. So when you set your driver up for number one or number two, when you hit that, it'll do your mirror, steering wheel, and seat. So that's a pretty cool setup, I think, anyways, and kind of necessary, especially if you're two people of different statures. Heads up display is right here, uh, about 15 inches, color is pretty phenomenal. Of course, there's your auto truck, four wheel drive system, auto four high, four low, two high. Uh, heated steering wheel, obviously. Now, one of the options that's not in this one that you can get uh, is the Super Cruise, up to 400,000 miles already of US and Canadian divided highways that it's gonna work on, and that, that number is growing with the LiDAR system that they use in order to get that mapping. As you can see, you do have the sunroof in this. Yes, I understand it's not the panel sunroof. This is a refresh, not a generational change. So they would have to change the whole roof line in order for you to have a panel sunroof. So that's a sunroof, it works, it is what it is, right? Um, push button start heated and ventilated seats in these again very exquisitely stitched and you know pipe seats that you can see here there's the ultimate badging and again with the topographical map there 13.4 inch screen there of course and just over 12 inch screen in front of the driver programmable and over here we have the hd camera streaming mirror which you can flip over and put it back to a regular mirror if you don't want the camera but that is a 2023 gmc sierra 1500 denali ultimate what a great looking truck this is